TeacherMeet is one of the most versatile online classroom apps available to educators today. With it, you can transform your favorite paper resources, like worksheets and quizzes, into digital interactivities for any subject, and then assign them to your students via Google Classroom, Canvas, and Schoology. Make use of TeacherMeet's auto-grading features and you'll have more time to personalize instruction and engage with your students. Everybody wins when you use TeacherMeet in your classroom. In this video, we teach you how to use the multimedia tools in the app. Are you constantly looking for new ways to expand your digital worksheets beyond the standard paper worksheet format? We get it, we all need more rigorous activities to keep our students engaged. When you use TeacherMade Pro, you have access to three different multimedia tools that will take your assignments to the next level. The first is the audio tool. The audio tool lets teachers record audio and upload it, so the possibilities are endless. Use it to record instructions, add hints, or even read to your students to enhance their listening skills. The second multimedia tool is for incorporating hyperlinks into your activity. Attach any internet resource to your assignment, such as YouTube videos, newspaper articles, or even a Google Doc. If it has a URL, you can link it to your teacher mate. The third tool is the images tool. Use this tool to add any image to your assignment. You can place pictures, diagrams, and drawings anywhere on your worksheets. You can even add stickers and animated GIFs to motivate your students. These features will let you expand your students' learning in so many ways. Keep watching to learn how to use each of these tools. The TeacherMade Audio tool can be used to record or upload one or more audio element to your assignments. To add audio to your interactive worksheet, select the microphone icon on your toolbar or choose Insert from your menu bar and then Audio Recording. Draw a box on the assignment where you would like your audio icon to render. This is the same icon your students will see on their assignment. Once you draw the box, this window will open up. To record audio, click on the red circle and your recording will begin. Click on the black square to stop your recording. When you are done, click Attach to the Worksheet. You can record up to five minutes of audio for each audio recording. You also have the option to upload audio from your computer. Click the audio icon again and draw a new icon onto your assignment. Click the Upload tab to the right of the Record tab. In this window, choose to browse your computer and select an audio file. Open it into TeacherMade and then click Attach to the Worksheet. You can upload up to 10 megabytes for each audio file you attach to your assignment. Use these tools in your status bar to change the border color of the audio icon or to make the audio box transparent. The TeacherMade hyperlink tool can be used to insert links onto your TeacherMade activities, such as links to Google Docs, Google Slides, and YouTube videos. To add the hyperlink feature to your interactive worksheet, click on the paperclip icon on your toolbar or choose Insert from your menu bar and then Link. Draw a box on your assignment where you would like your hyperlink to be. Select Edit Link and then enter in the link you would like to attach to your assignment. Use this button to test your link before assigning your work to your students. If it works correctly, it will open up your link in a new tab. You have the option to add a label to identify the hyperlink for your students. Adding a label is optional, and if you choose not to, your students will see a white box with the paperclip icon in it. Select Save Changes when you are done. Once you have added the link, you can use the tools on your status bar to edit the border color, the font size and color of your text, and decide whether the box should be transparent or solid. The Images feature allows you to add one or more image to your TeacherMade assignments. To add an image to your interactive worksheet, select the image icon from your toolbar or choose Insert from your menu bar and then Image. Start by drawing an image box onto your assignment. You can then either choose a pre-existing image from your gallery or you can add a new one from your computer. Once you have selected an image, it will paste onto your assignment. You can then adjust the size of the image and drag it where you would like it to be. Another option is to paste an image directly into the worksheet. 
Make sure no objects are selected and then use the Ctrl V shortcut to paste an image from your clipboard. You can then drag it where you would like it to be and resize it. Once you have an image on your assignment, you can adjust the border, aspect ratio, and transparency using this status bar.